afternoon. We're out here in the garden. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna have a garden update. I've been weeding onions and working in the onion bed. Um, I've got the farmer's market, so I'll take some of these onions to the farmer's market. Look at my cucumbers. They have a uh, bug on them. Who is after the nectar? Look at that. I don't know what kind of bug he is, but he says yum yum. So I have plenty of buds that are coming on. This thing is going crazy. It looks really pale to me, but then again, I don't, I don't know. Somebody said if it was getting pale, it's not getting enough sun. But guys, it's in direct sunlight. So um, this, I haven't gotten out here to water today, and this is dry. You can see every day this is a, a thing. It, it just is dry. Um, if you dig down, it's still dry and even when I use my little tester it says it's dry now these down here kind of stay a little bit more moist so I don't know the top is really frustrating me we've got strawberries RJ's been picking oh I don't know two to four every day I don't see any here today I think he's probably harvesting them all him and the pig really love them I'm getting ready to harvest all of this I was using it for the um, farmers market getting stemmy. I don't mind the stems. Um, I know that there's flavor in the stems, but most people when they harvest, harvest the leaves. So they um, dehydrate and then strip all the leaves off. I go ahead and leave my stems in because that's where a lot of the flavor and nutrition is too. Um, but I am going to harvest it and get it gone. Look here, my climbing finch. I have one beautiful plant just doing amazingly, but the others are up and coming. And this little one already has some flowers. Um, so yeah, we have these. Oh, got a piece of grass in there. I've been babying them along. Um, if I can get them climbing, they say they self-sow, and then they'll be, um, they'll need less attention next year. So I've got these two on this side. I've got these little ones here, and that one, and that one is just beautiful. So I'm very proud of, I guess, one out of what, eight. I'm doing good. Okay. <laughs> There's storm or star coming up. Um, so somebody gave me some honeydew melon plants and some bell pepper plants. Now, sad story. We have a rabbit. The honeydew melons are doing great, okay? Which is silly because when I put this one in, I thought I broke it. Um, but it seems to be keep going, so I'm just gonna leave it and let it be. If I don't destroy it with this thing, and so I've should have some honeydew melon. These right here are looking more and more um, just like the, and it's got bugs in it. What do we have bugs in there for? Might have to spray for them old bugs. Uh, they are looking more and more like the loofah gourds. So um, it runs all the way out here. Now keep in mind these are a little wilted just because um, I didn't get to water this morning, okay? So, uh, I will water tonight when I get home. I know there's debate on whether I should do that or not, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, again, we have Lufa Gourd right here, coming all the way out here. Look at this little pine, uh, pineapple. This little watermelon plant, looky here, he's going up. These guys are all cucumber on the back side, and if you look, there are a ton of cucumber uh, flowers. And this guy is coming across here, and this is also Lufa Gourd. So, um, oops, I'm stepping on stuff. This is my smallest Lufa Gourd, but this, I'm trying to get them to, I don't know how people train them, but I've just been pushing them up around the other side, if that makes sense. I'm trying to get them to go up that trellis. The cucumbers are to go up the trellis. So, all right, over here. We come, and I do have one little watermelon plant from when it was left, from when the cats did it. And I had five or six bell pepper plants. You can see here's a stem, here's a stem, here's a stem, and here's one that's holding on that I missed when I moved the other two. Um, I planted them, and a bunny rabbit, I guess, found them. But then I took two. And to try and save them, I brought them right over here. So we'll see how that does. Uh, we're having one issue here with our container garden. And this is our rosemary, which is still 
pliable. It, it's not dead yet, but it's not wanting to drain. It drained in the beginning, and now it's not. So um, we have drilled more holes. We've lifted it up, turned it over, dumped the dirt out, anything and everything you can think of, and it's not helping. So we don't know what's going to happen with that. But the lavender, check it out, we have flowers. My tomato plant here is actually getting little blooms on it. Again, they're pointing down because I didn't get it watered. My mystery whatevers and my catnip is starting to come up in here, which is supposed to be there. My thyme, I've got a couple of good plants right there. And then I've got this one right here, and i got another little one under here, under the shade. So, I, again, we don't know what that is. I'm going to guess this is a squash of some kind, because it's just going crazy. Um, and if you look, I have blooms on it now. <laughs> Everything's starting to bloom. I'm liking that. Um, and then I'll take you over here. Uh, the swing, of course. There's the she cave, or she shack, <laughs> soon to be she shack. I say soon, it'll be time. It's hot out here, guys. Um, these are our strawberries. We're harvesting one or two strawberries out of it every day. They're not getting huge, but please remember that we planted them out of season. <laughs> so, and the bunny rabbits have been after this thing too. So, this is not a good thing. I don't know what that is. We're gonna go ahead and pull it because it's probably not a strawberry. But anyway, we've got lots of little berries on there. And RJ's been coming out here every night and making sure that his two or three little strawberries are picked because if not, we have a track and it's funny because we were laughing. There's a little rabbit hole right through here, a little track where something comes and goes. And whatever comes and goes, like strawberries and bell pepper plants, just saying. So, um, I got out here and mowed yesterday, but as you can see, everything's kind of coming along just watching things grow. Um, the sage and the blackberries. Now I do have a friend coming, I believe Thursday, which is tomorrow. And I heard that she might have some elderberry starts for me. So we'll see. And as you can tell, her lemon balm, by the way, is doing wonderful right there. So we should have that going. All right, I think I'm gonna go pop this up online. And that is the garden update for today.